Hey guys, NV here, and in this video, we're gonna create the chemical weapon symbol. Now, there's not a lot of information on it, so I'm just gonna show you the symbol here that I made a while back. Now, we're gonna use this as a guide. I do have this uh, file here sent in my personal Dropbox, and you can download it from the link below this video. And you do not need a Dropbox account to uh, obtain this file, because this is what we're gonna use to create this symbol. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And, but back to this symbol here, um, it isn't like the biohazard or fallout nuclear uh, symbol or anything like that. Me personally, I could not find any information based on this specific symbol. So I wanted to point that out. It's just a cool looking shape and I like it. So I wanna go ahead and show you how I created it, okay? So what I'm gonna do though is bring out my rulers here, control R, and I've positioned this shape directly in the center. So when we guide it out, it will be perfectly centered into this center circle. So let me show you what I mean by that. When I draw these guides out here, just like so. And if we zoom in here, you can see it's perfectly in the center. This is gonna help us out because we're like always, we're gonna build from the inside then out and then around, okay? So what I wanna do is make me a folder. I'm gonna call this, okay? And I'm gonna make another folder under that. And I'm gonna call this symbol, symbol build. And we're gonna do another folder above that one. And I'm gonna call this one right here, symbol merged, hide that folder. And what I'm gonna do is tap the U key on the keyboard. And we're gonna bring our circle tool out, our circle shape. And by now you should realize that I'm calling this ellipse tool, the circle, because that's what I like calling it. And that way in the future, you should know what I mean when I say circle. So what I'm gonna do is hold the shift key, click, drag, and then alt. And we're gonna just pretty much size up the side, uh, the center. And I may change the color so it's a little bit lighter. So let's select something like this right here so we can see what's going on when we are tracing this out. So that's our center. Uh, sign right there, our center circle. And we'll put that in the folder and we'll call this, copy that name and I'm gonna name that as well. Now what I wanna do is make another folder above that and I'm gonna call this outer circles, okay? Put a la layer in there. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and guess about center here and we're probably gonna have to resize it and nudge it down a little bit. And what I want to do is click on that and just nudge it down, just control and down arrow key. About like that. And then I'll control T and we're going to scale this up a little bit. I'm just using the arrow key on this one. And it's okay if we go a little bit larger than the shape because it, it's going to be a shape. It won't matter. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. And what I want to do is just go ahead and paste that name on there. And we're going to copy this around okay so control c and then control v and then control t and we're just going to grab this crosshair and move it down in the center all the way and we're going to pretty much zoom in to the maximum zoom ability here just like so dead in the center hold the shift key and just rotate it around just like that and confirm that and we're going to do that one more time except this one will go to the left Control C, Control V, and Control T. That will start becoming very, uh, pretty much muscle memory at this point because it's a lot of copy, paste, and or rotate. And again, to the left on this one, just like so. Confirm that. And we have our circles now. Okay. So we have that. Now we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do the center uh, sides right there. And we'll call this uh, circle sides. Might not, or side circles, whatever. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and create another shape in there. Holding the shift key, click, drag out, and we're going to scale it pretty close to that. Let me redo that and zoom in here. Scale that out like so. Out there. And, and copy that name. Paste it in there. And let's change the colors to this. I didn't do that. Uh, starting out, I should have. That way we can see exactly what's going on with our design here. 
Okay. So what I want to do now is copy that. So control C, control V, and come up to paths operations, subtract front shape, control T, and we're going to scale that in. Okay. Let me zoom in here. And I'm going to manually do the rest of the way. So just holding the alt key and dragging it in just like so. Confirming that. It looks really good. So we had that done. Now we're going to do the little bars here. So let's hide that though. And we're going to add another folder. I'm going to call this, we'll just call it bars. And we're going to select our rectangular shape. Come in here. And we're just going to drag out the shape. Okay. And I'll try to get it a little bit more even here. About there. Do that one there. Kind of bring it up to about, let's see. Out here, confirm that, and I'm gonna bring it down as well. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and just drag it down out there. Confirm that. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and change that color just like so. And now I want to just go ahead and control C and then control V and control T. We're gonna copy it around, okay? So grabbing the crosshair, dragging it down the center, and zooming in all the way. At least for me, you don't have to, but this is, I like being very precise. Zoom out, hold shift key and rotate around just like so. Okay. And control, do the same thing. Shift key and rotate it around just like so. Okay. So we have the bars now. Now what I want to do is activate our symbol layers there. And we're going to go ahead and select these bars or select the top. Bar, sorry, top one, control C, hide that real quick. We're gonna select it on here, control V, okay? And now what we're gonna do is come up to pass operations, subtract front shape. We're gonna cut through that bar, uh, through the sides right here. I'm gonna hold the shift and alt key and I'm gonna scale it out to the left where we can see the shape here. And we're gonna come in about there, I think. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good, confirm that. And now what I want to do is pretty much hold control C and then control V and control T. And we're going to do the same thing. Like I said, it's a lot of the copy paste and rotate in this one here. Zoom out, rotate around and done. Okay. Same thing here. We could just duplicate it, but I don't want to risk uh, being off on the accuracy, so I'm just doing it this way. Rotate it around, just like so, okay? So that's done. Now all we have to do here is select our center um, circle here, Control C, and we're gonna paste it on the bars, Control V. I'm going to pass operation, subtract front shape, I'm gonna Control T, and we're gonna scale that up. And we're gonna meet it to the edge of this one right here. So I'm gonna manually do it, holding the Alt and dragging up. About right there, somewhere around there. There we go, confirm it. And now that's pretty much cut. Let's see how we've got it so far. I'm gonna also add a background here. Just gonna add a BG. That's uh, fill and adjustment, solid color, and I'm just gonna select the green. And we can see exactly what's going on. Looking good. Now what we're going to do is copy these over into this. And we're going to clean it up once we're done. So don't worry about the copy uh, text here. We're going to fix all that in a minute. What we're going to do is drag this layer out. Delete that folder. And we're going to select this one right here. Copy and paste. Okay, and delete. Same thing with this. Copy paste and just delete it copy paste and delete that so what i want to do now though is if we merge this shape together right now it will show you can see where this line's going how wide it is it's going to show that little uh spot there and we don't want that so what we want to do is click on this circle the top one paths arrangement bring to front so bring shape to front just like so and we're going to do the rest for these two as well. 
just like so. I've realized that I don't have my center circle there. So what I'm going to do, click on this one right here, control C and control V. Now we have it there. Glad I noticed that. So what I'm going to do is copy this. Before I do that, I'm going to copy that word and duplicate it. I'm going to, to pass operations, merge shape components, hide the guides. Oops. Let's zoom in and see what we have. That looks really, really good. Very pleased with it. And we can just select this whole shape, right click to find custom shape, just like so. And now we have it saved. So let's save our project as well. Chemical weapon symbol um, original. Okay. And we'll save it as an image as well. Just like that. And that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. You can see we're not too far off. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. And until next time, I will see you in another video.